Ladies and gentlemen, war never changes. Console Wars specifically, I'm Brian Altanos. With me is Ryan McCaffrey, and we're here to talk about the great debate that has seemingly never gone away, which is analog stick placement on controllers. McCaffrey, this week we got a look uh, sort of unceremoniously, as been the whole rollout for PlayStation 5 stuff, of yeah. the new DualSense 5 controller. Uh, it has parallel sticks as has now become, uh, you know, historically present with Sony and the way they've made PlayStation controllers. Uh, you're an Xbox guy. You you know, you you host our weekly Xbox show. There you go. I, I too, am a multi-console owner. I got the white <laughs> one right here. Um, I, to me, the, the placement of sticks in the controller has never been something that's really bothered me or yeah. something I've thought about too much. But what is your take on this? Because this debate has never ended, it is now charged up more than I've ever seen it before. What's going on with this conversation? It has been a bizarre uh, multiplier on the usual fanboy rage. It's very interesting to me. Now, I mean, because I, I put up a little poll. I know we're going to talk about that on my Twitter. Granted, my following is leans pretty heavily Xbox, and I had uh -huh. I had our mutual friend Greg Miller do it too, because his following is, uh, as we know, more PlayStation centric. But I mean, I I know you and I were going back and forth for a minute on this. I don't. I, I'm certainly capable of picking up a DualShock and, and having a good time, regardless of whatever the genre of the game is. But I mean, I do have a preference. I think for for shooters in particular, uh, and you, know, you could make the case for other genres, but I just like the feel, you know, because my thumb, look at that, my thumb goes, the natural yep. way is for it to be like this, not over, not, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm having to like move my muscle to be over here. So it's like, it's fine, I can do it, but I just I just prefer this. And it was really interesting to me to see people just ride or die for one or the other. And I yeah. get you, there's a preference, but what's it's it's just interesting to me how the ergonomics and the choices, the ergonomics have evolved and the choices of these large companies have evolved. Even Nintendo, I know you've got a, a Switch Pro controller right there, mine's out of reach, but that controller, I had to, I had to, smile and laugh a little bit when because i think i reviewed that controller for ign and i love it and it, it's basically an xbox controller i mean it, yes. it really it the, the, it's almost the form factor is so similar uh, including the stick placement but yeah it's uh it's it's a never-ending debate and uh it's everybody's got their preference but i was surprised to see uh the completely unscientific poll results that greg miller and i ran that yeah that were, uh, I thought for sure his would just be the the, the mirror opposite of mine. Yeah, uh, so and they were not. That, to get into that, you got about around twenty thousand votes on your poll. That's that's, that's a good number right there. It's a reasonable sample size. Yeah. So around sixty-seven percent said they prefer offset sticks, two and thirty-three percent. Yeah. 33% said Idline, uh, and for Greg, he got about 25,000 votes, and he got 52,000 for Offset, 43, or 40, 47%. 52%, yeah. Yeah, 52%, you know, 53%, 50, or 47% for Inline. And so, yeah, even with his massively PlayStation uh, sort of leaning audience, um, people just seem to prefer that. And if you think about it, like we were just talking about, you've now got, you've got Microsoft, and you've got Nintendo, and you've got Sony. We know the controllers they're gonna be working with for the next few years. Uh, Third-party stuff, obviously, you know, notwithstanding, but Sony is now officially for this entire gen moving forward, once again, the outlier in the way these sticks line up. Um, again, I've never really had an issue with this. To me, the sort of symmetry feels natural. Sure. It's sort of the way like when you're, you know, when you're driving a car, it's like 10 and two, right? Like, right. Uh, hypothetically. And so, um, this year alone, like I think I, I spent like 50 hours playing Remnant from the Ashes on Xbox One X, uh, which I had a really good time with, and then jumped over to, to Bloodborne to get the Platinum over there. And my brain didn't even for a second hesitate to to get it there. But sure. this is something that you know people really, really have uh, an issue with and a, and, a, and a preference with. And I think, like you said, for shooters, for even driving games, um, even platformers and stuff like that, this becomes like a major sticking point for people to the point where they just straight up, I saw just like just tweeting out some photoshops of the DualSense 5. There are people that are just like, I hate I hate the way the sticks are lined up. Why won't Sony change it? And it doesn't it doesn't seem like any of them are going to change anytime soon. I agree with you completely. I think Sony it's I, I think they couldn't even if they wanted to because it's just mm -hmm. become such a, a part of their DNA. But what 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 those again completely unscientific poll results from Greg and myself told me was 
But if Sony did offer, let's say, I mean, I I love this is a this is an Elite Series Two right here, which I think is it's probably the best controller on the market. Period for any for any console. Now it's one hundred and eighty dollars, so right. it's not cheap. But uh, if I've I've been hoping that Sony would offer the same because I I would absolutely go for it. You know, the big one on DualShock is battery life. So if it had wait because this this does have a, a built-in rechargeable battery uh and it's a really long life it's got a, a much 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 better than the dual shock but again <laughs> the price is it's also three times the price yeah but if what anyway what this tells me is if sony offered a dual sense pro let's say or a dual sense elite they could probably do offsets on that and their and their audience would be accepting of it because there is clearly a, a pretty large uh, contingent of, of people out there that, that do like it this way. And if, if there were an option that, you know, not, not a forced replacement, but uh, an option for, for an offset, I think you'd see Sony fans uh, embrace that. Yeah, I totally agree. I think this is something I didn't really know was this divisive and seeing <laughs> these, yeah. Right. And seeing these polls, which are, you know, not, uh, you know, uh, 100% official, whatever. This is not right. the, this, this is not the census, but I think this is a pretty good. I mean, you guys are two pretty well-known uh, people in the video game space, and you definitely have your demographics. And the fact that these both tilted towards the offset sticks is definitely telling to me. And I, that's, it's. I, I think you're totally right in that Sony. It's something Sony should offer. But if they did, I think they would get equally. Oh sort yeah. Of, ripped apart in, yeah. <laughs> as much as they would uh for people to celebrate it i think just as many people would be like you're ripping off xbox at this point yeah because they are they got that this week with the dual sense the the, yeah. the number one trend on twitter in the united states that that day the number one trend was xbox controller yeah and it was it was everybody a lot of the, it was people saying hey sony's just going closer and closer to the Xbox controller. Some people saying it in a joking way, some people saying it in a ha in a in a happy way, some people real really mad about it. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was kind of uh, I couldn't help but laugh that uh, cuz these <laughs> the sort of like messaging backfires like that where your uh, your competition trends when you make an announcement. <laughs> that's what Microsoft's been on the the bad end of that for the last 7 years. So, oh, yeah, it was yeah. a little it, I did chuckle a little bit when uh, when when that happened this week, but but yeah, I'm with you. It's it's completely it's it's just odd how how uh like it just tells you how vital a component of the video game experience. I mean, you might think it's obvious, but it really does matter to people. Like this is the entry point. This is the input method, and people are really passionate about it. You even, I know you pulled up uh, our friend Seamus Blackley, the creator of the Xbox, and I yeah. guess the person that started Offset with the with the, <laughs> the infamous Duke controller, he weighed in too. Yeah, he said, I'm starting to feel, he quote tweeted you and your, and both of your poll numbers, you and Greg's poll numbers side by side. And he said, I'm starting to feel, and now in all caps, hella vindicated, which <laughs> is like, this is one of the architects of the original Xbox. And yeah, I, I would like to infer as well that probably the guy that, desi that decided or one of the principal architects of this decision to right. offset stick, which has now, you know, made its way into every Xbox controller since. Um, and so I think that's really funny because it's, there's, there's obviously, there's a, a larger preference at hand here that I think the industry is leaning towards. And I think that um, regardless of what a console design looks like, you're hundred percent correct. The most important part is the controller. That, really is, is. that is the, that is the vehicle. You know, that is the thing that we are using to basically to, to import our, our commands into like these incredible escapist fantasies that we're playing on our television. The box that goes inside my entertainment center, it's important, but it's not the thing I'm picking up and holding for, you know, a hundred hours a week or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so the, the thing I did want to close on uh, is as this debate rages on, I wanted to, to say something that I do think will bring all of us together. Um, I, I think we should be focusing on the real issue right now, which is that everyone needs to get on the same page on what the, bat, the back button is. What is the oh. back button? This, oh, we, no we keep switching. <laughs> yeah, every generation now, like Sony's got different buttons. Xbox, they initially had uh, had had back back and start instead of select and start and now we're now we're on window and hamburger 
and then yeah. there's there's the share button on the on the Series X controller. Yeah, I like, and the DualSense has the the honk button from the Goose Game. <laughs> like. Yeah, my 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 eight year old daughter has has really been getting into Minecraft uh, while, while we've been trapped at home, which I'm actually totally on board with because it's it's not one of your mindless cell phone games that's just there to to to, to drain you of money and time. Like there's actual yeah. creativity. <laughs> And I had to tell her, okay, when you're done, it's like, it's time for dinner, save and quit. And I can't, I tell her like, I don't know how to tell her what that button is. <laughs> push, push the, push start. And she's like, well, what are you talking about? Th this I one. Saw, uh, I saw a tweet going around the other day from somebody who was like, how do I explain to my non-gamer friends the difference between the two buttons on the DualSense? Because one of them is a little sliver with three horizontal lines and the other is a little sliver with three diagonal lines. That's and what does that even mean? But yeah, uh, I've, I've played games like, you know, Dark Souls that were ported to Switch that were definitely ports of the, you know, current or last gen version of the games where the back buttons are switched for what you're used to playing on Nintendo games. And it just, it's, it's brain breaking more than any stick issue has ever happened. So let's put aside the stick debate for a little bit and all come together and agree that this is the biggest issue in gaming right now is everyone needs to get on the same page with this back button. But until then, oh. we can also keep fighting about sticks. <laughs> Well, the back button. How about how about the the placement of a of a b x and y? Because uh, oh, switching God. switching to Nintendo games is like wait no ah not that yeah. one. Those are those are backwards. So you have on the Switch you, since the NES you have B A, yeah, uh, which is Greek. It's my initials, and then on the Xbox you have A B. Yes. Uh, there's an X on the Xbox. There's also one that, at the top of the Switch controller, and then at the bottom of the PS4 controller. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> it, well, yeah. ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let us know what your preference is on sticks. Uh, I have a feeling. Better yet, awesome. don't. Like, let's just <laughs> let it. Let's just let it be. Yeah. yeah let's. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, if you know some uh, good third-party solutions, I even saw somebody responded to our tweets with a like a thing you could plug in to your PS4 that was an adapter for your Xbox One X controller. Uh, so there's that. There's always there solutions. There's there's always ways to make it work. Um, Remember, for all things video games, next-gen controllers, debates, and otherwise, uh, you're already in the right place. And that's IGN. Ryan, thank you so much, and it's very good to see you. Good to see you, my friend.